Jonathan Lee Riches, aka JLR. That is the headquarters to the Tennessee Borough of Investigation, TBI. This is the main agency right here behind me. Can't go through there because there is a guard shack. Just drove past showing you what the actual um, area looks like. The building itself. The people in that building there are investigating Summer Wells. Summer Wells, she's been missing since June 15th, 2021. It is now the longest current, it's been reported that it's the longest current Amber Alert in the country. The longest current Amber Alert in this country. TBI. Now, TBI spokeswoman Leslie Earhart and TBI agents just came out on the anniversary, the one year anniversary since Summer Wells went missing, saying, contact them with direct, credible information. They've been getting flooded over the year with a lot of misinformation, a lot of bogus tips that Leslie Earhart, the spokeswoman for the TBI said was done purposely, done purposely. They want credible, first-hand knowledge tips. They are asking for the public to still cooperate, but they don't want bogus tips. They don't want false leads. They are concerned about people on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, that are purposely spreading false information in reference to this case. They don't want that. They don't want that. Is Don and Candace Wells colluding with certain people online, YouTube creators or people to claim to work for Don and Candace Wells, whether it's these people running their social media sites or findsummerwells.com or Wells Media Manager, Tim Mullen. You know, I'm not saying it's them. I'm just saying they're concerned about people spreading false information out there. Summer Wells is still missing. I have trust in that agency back there. Tennessee Borough Investigation. There are many agents in that building there and at their field offices close to the home of Don and Candace Wells. I believe there's a field office in Knoxville, in Jonesboro, Tennessee. Lots of agents out there that have been spending lots of resources, lots of manpower, finding out what happened to Summer Wells. We heard from the TBI yesterday on the anniversary. This is, you know, this is a day later. I'm out in front of the TBI a day later hearing from the TBI who are saying that, you know, there is tons and tons of Resources. I mean, they're going through their the well. They went through the Wells' social media profiles and their phones, digital evidence. They've been analyzing and inspecting a lot. Rest assured, the TBI knows who Don and Candace Wells are speaking to and who have they spoke spoken to in the last year. All the people they've been contacting. Wouldn't be surprising if their phones are being tapped. Phones are being tapped to understand what's going on because again it's a missing child it's a missing child and you know it doesn't take a lot of probable calls to get a war uh, warrant signed off by a judge whether that's a you know a, a state judge or a local judge in Hawkins County Tennessee where Summer Wells is from to sign off on a warrant to listen in on phone conversations of Don and Candace Wells or to get their electronic devices. We've heard from Don Wells who said that he gave authorities the um, his phones. So, I don't know. But I'm here just driving by. I am in the Nashville area and I just wanted to support the TBI and publicly support them. I think they're doing a tremendous job considering the it's a unique case. That's what, you know, that's what Leslie Earhart, spokeswoman for the TBI said. It's a unique case. 
And I say that, and I think that too, because of, it's just so remote out there. Not a lot of security cameras around Beach Creek in the roads. Digital phone pings. Phone reception is literally impossible to get. I try using my, I have a Verizon phone. I can't even get any phone service out there, outside their home, none. Only emergency calls only. And I think that's part of the problem here. That is part of the problem here. It's a unique case, you know. A lot of times these cases um, get solved. And Ronnie Lawson, Sheriff, Hawkins County, support him too. Support all the sheriffs in that town. They're doing a tremendous job. He said this is the biggest case in Hawkins County history. The biggest case in Hawkins County's history. And I could hear and see his frustration with not having this solved by now. So support Ronnie Lawson. Support all law enforcement that are trying their best to find out. A lot of these sheriffs have children themselves. And they, you know, seeing Summer Wells' image, I know they're thinking about their own children. You know, and that's a lot of us. A lot of us. That's why many, many people that are following the Summer Wells case can relate to Summer Wells because they've had children that age or have children that age you know and it's a missing child summer's life mattered where is she if you guys have any information credible information about the whereabouts of summer wells you contact the tennessee borough investigation at 1-800-tbi fine contact hawkins county sheriff's office or the fbi the fbi is also investigating but you saw the press conference yesterday it's tbi and there was also lots of um Look like Hawkins County sheriffs and authorities flanked to the right of the podium. Flanked to the right. I saw, I believe I saw Cliff Evans there. Uh, of course, Ronnie Le uh, Lawson was there. I saw John Pruitt. John Pruitt, the lead um, detective on this case in Hawkins County. And another TBI agent. I, I don't remember his name offhand, but Leslie Earhart, you know, said, you know, called him to speak a little bit. So... I don't know. Could that be a TBI agent running? You know, this is TB, TBI uh, headquarters. It's, you know, it looks like an industrial park. Couldn't go in. Um, don't want to go in. I don't want to overstep boundaries. I don't want to go in there and ask questions at this time. You know, let these people do their work and their job. And, you know, I do feel like they have some things they're keeping very quiet about. Um, have mixed feelings about that because I do feel that there should be open and transparency and any little information could open up more but I, I'm sure they don't want to give out a lot of stuff because they don't want to jeopardize the integrity of the investigation totally understand that um, but I'm out here supporting you know what happened you know supporting I mean what I'm doing is supporting law enforcement and I'm trying my best to report the most accurate best of my knowledge information i don't support anyone that's posting purpose misinformation there is rumors and speculation now, i have no problem with people um you know speculating things that happen you know that is our right we we we, we can do that i don't see any problem with any anyone online youtubers you know putting out speculation i put out a lot of speculation and my thoughts about this case you know based off stuff that i see in the area but spreading false information, purposely misinformation, um, and then also, you know, soliciting funds, soliciting money in this case. I mean, YouTubers itself, most uh, YouTube channels, you know, with over a thousand subscribers already get their money by posting their videos anyway. So, you know, by asking donations in the name of Summer, I think that's kind of um, wrong. You know, I, I do I do have um, some PayPal and um, uh, Cash App. I don't openly like that say hey donate to me you know I have it in my description but I don't never ask you know for money and I'm not looking for money and I'm not out here for a reward either not out here for a reward so everyone be safe you know if, if, if I found Summer Wells and find out what happened again if there was a reward out there I'd give it all to charitable causes charitable causes that's not my motivation here my motivation is using the knowledge and tools that God gave me to help make a difference right to help make a difference out there you know i made bad choices 20 years ago i kind of understand how a criminal mind thinks and stuff like that so i'm using the tools that you know 
the mistakes that I made back in the day and trying to incorporate that in, 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 in making a difference in this world today, you know, giving back. And, you know, I, I've been in prison and I've been in prison with bad, bad people, bad, really bad people, really bad, violent people. Now, there is very good people in prison that just made a mistake. God bless them. And hopefully all of them that made mistakes will get out and make better choices. That's what I try to do on a daily basis is make better choices. Uh, I'm still a fallible human being. There's some still things I struggle on, but I try to pray every day to make a difference. And part of that is doing community service and help. Um, you know, it's not about the money. It's just, you know, it's about what's right. It's about what's right. And um, that's all, you know, that's a value system that I am trying to incorporate on myself every day when I grow to be a better person. So God bless. Everyone be safe. Justice for Summer Wells. Let's hope she's found soon.